Okay. The Swiss Department of Defense <laughs> cites the WAN show. I feel like I've talked a lot today. This Can you so walk sick. me through this? Yeah, I haven't absolutely. looked at this yet at all. I haven't read it other than the headline. Yeah, I would. I I like not externally, but I definitely internally cheered when I saw this. Uh, the cybersecurity research arm of the Swiss Department of Defense yes. has released an assessment of the cyber defense implications of large language models. The main threats outlined include use in spying, influence operations, vulnerabilities injection, control hijacking, and phishing attacks, which are all, yeah, that's an acute good observation. Information <laughs> leaks both in, uh, intentional and accidental, in part due to deeper web indexing, uh, extracting sensitive information. Also, I'll add in here, potentially because, you know, if people in the Swiss government or in Swiss defense start using these systems to aid them in their jobs yes. and then give them information that they shouldn't, that would be bad. This type of stuff has 100% happened at a huge variety of companies already. Um, manipulation and dissemination of misinformation. Absolutely. This is already a huge concern for some people. And em empowering unsophisticated attackers. <laughs> it's like the coolest, most highbrow way of saying script kitties ever. I love um, it. Unsophisticated <laughs> attackers. They need a monocle. Yeah. <laughs> In its description of the abilities and limitations of Bing Chat and GPT-4, the assessment... The alarm in the building is going to set itself. Can you undo that? Oh, that makes sense. I'm on it. I'm Thank on you. it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. In its description of the abilities and limitations of Bing Chat and GPT-4, the assessment specifically cites the February 10th episode of The WAN Show, titled Our Biggest Sponsor Pulled Out, where we all lost our minds about Bing for 52 minutes straight. <laughs> the, like, official text says, based on some public demos, Linus Tech Tips, in brackets 2023, I don't know, in addition to being, uh, in addition to being able to perform search queries, Bing GPT seems to be capable of, and this is why I was like, okay, this is actually <laughs> legit, uh, perform image to text conversion, image object typed, uh, color, logo, nature, perform basic logic reasoning to split queries. So bags of X type that will fit in trunk of Y car and then size of bags of X type to size of uh, car Y's trunk, perform basic knowledge reasoning. Basically, everything we talked about, I'm not going to go through all of it, but everything we talked about in that show, including like uh, when we had it look up bone mass and then it figured out that it was actually biomass and like the, how, it, how it reasoned and stuff like that. They yeah. dove through all of it. Very interesting. There's some discussion questions. Is it strange thinking about how far the internet has come in the past 10 to 20 years that an official government assessment can cite a YouTube video? Especially one that, to make it a little bit more at home, that you're in. Yeah. Um, I mean, it shouldn't surprise me, and yet it always does. You know, I think a, a perfect example of this is the video that we uploaded challenging YouTube to do better on HDR. I obviously, like, if someone asked me, I could reason my way through it, you know? Yeah, a lot of people who work if for I YouTube are scenario. probably technophiles. We have 14 million subscribers at the time, which in the English-speaking world is a huge percentage of the people at all like like not insignificant and of the tech interested people in the english speaking world is like i i already know that i can't walk around on a ces show floor without being constantly stopped and yet i will hear things like yeah this video is everywhere top to bottom and fires are being lit right it always surprises me when I hear it, even though cognitively I understand that... The same thing would happen here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But exactly. it's weird to think, like, that it would also happen elsewhere. We think know. of Google as nameless and faceless. Yeah. But it is full of people with names and with faces that are looking at us right now. <laughs> yeah. Potentially, right? yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, but interesting. You, you always do want, like, it's not like 
celebrities or people in power or or people at large companies or whatever it is or p- people in positions of of influence at large companies etc 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 it's not like outside of their job they just cease to exist like they they use products that maybe you worked on if you're if you're in design or manufacturing or whatever they they watch things they play games like you you might have played Fortnite at some point with like the the lead designer for Fortnite. I don't know. Yeah, you, you might, might have. not have known that it was him or her, or her or whoever, but like the screen name is going to be whatever it is and you might have played with them. Who knows? You never know like who you're interacting with. You never know who's watching. You don't. Yeah. It's interesting. 